A capacity crowd was on hand in Pima on Friday as the Thatcher Eagles hoped the third time would be the charm and the Pima Rough Riders looked to seal their conference championship. Thatcher controlled the tip and started with its isolation offense, looking to draw the bigger Pima players out past a three-point line to attempt to drive past them. Logan McMaster was hit on a putback attempt and made a free throw to open up the scoring. The teams then traded three-point buckets as Pima point guard Trey Thompson hit nothing but net from the left corner and Thatcher's Carson Goodman did the same. Thompson answered back with a pretty drive and finger roll, but Thatcher had a long ball solution as Cole Motes stepped out to hit the three and take the lead 7-5. Despite being double and triple teamed all night, Pima big men Dawson Przinski and Jared Karchner began to get some looks down low and Pima went up 11-7. Thatcher answered with a three-pointer from McMaster and was down one, 11-10 at the end of the first. Pima stepped up its defense in the second period, getting blocks from Thompson and Alec Przinski. But every time Pima started to get a lead, Thatcher answered with another three-pointer as Dallin Cook tied it at 13, and Goodman, who was given five threes on the night, tied it at 16. A Pima three by Alec Przinski late in the period was a difference at halftime, however, with Pima up 21-18. Coming out of halftime, the referees ruled this jumper by Goodman a three-pointer, even though he was clearly inside the line by about a foot. The scorers gave Thatcher two points, however, and didn't change it until Motes hit from the free-throw line when the Eagles were trailing 25-22. The scorers gave the team three points while only giving Motes two, and the refs said it was because Goodman's shot was worth three. Later in the third, with the score tied at 27, Jarrett Karchner went on a 12-2 run over Thatcher, as his teammates started to find him open and he found himself in opportune places, notching bucket after bucket down low to give Pima an apparent insurmountable 10-point lead at 39-29 with just 3 minutes and 24 seconds left in the game. Goodman then came alive with a slick 3-pointer, but Karshner answered again down low to put the lead back to 9. Goodman then poked the ball away from Thompson and McMaster snagged it and put it away. McMaster followed that play up with a jumper of his own and it was a five-point game with 27 seconds left. Thompson Cooley hit two free throws to extend the lead to 43-36, but then Goodman launched a three-pointer from Fort Thomas that hit nothing but net. Down four points with 8.7 seconds left. Thatcher gathered in the missed free throw for one last chance. They're going, oh, he stepped out of bounds on the sideline. Thompson then ran out the clock, hit one of two from the line, and Thatcher's comeback was foiled as Pima held on to win 44-39 and sweep the regular season. You know, that's the kind of effort we expect every night. The kids, you know, we lost. Pima's incredible. I'm not sure I have a kid, maybe one, that would be in their top eight. So for us to go out there and play like that, I'm extremely, I'm extremely happy. The kids played incredibly hard. We talked before the game, you know what, you don't have to be perfect shooting, you don't have to be perfect rebounding, just give me a perfect effort. And to be honest with you, I think they gave a perfect effort. I mean, they're tough to deal with. When they are playing well and they're on their game, they're, they're a very good team. Uh, I know they're ranked like number eight right now. If that's the number eight team in the state, well, there's got some really good teams in the state, if that's the number eight. I don't think they're the number eight team. They're, they're higher than that. Reporting from Pima for Gila Valley Central, I'm John Johnson.